Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Atiyyullahi wa rasoolul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Qalaji, so da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahat. And but for the grace of Allah that if He's still in existence and Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us to enter into this holy month and to be under the realities of Surat Al Yaseen and the secrets of the name of Sayyidina Muhammad and the heart of Holy Qur'an and with the difficulties that face the earth and the dress of the month being the heart of the Qur'an, then we can see what type of difficulty entering into that heart. The immense sadness of creation of mankind upon mankind and the absence of rahmah and mercy. And we said many times, reminder always for myself, the grey would disappear, black and white would be clear. Many in life will claim to be many things. And Allah has a way of testing creation and testing people and we described before what we call the lemon test. That you profess to be sweet and our lives are about being sweet and Allah squeezes us. When life comes with difficulty it's not the excuse to exhibit bad character because difficulty came. But to know that it's a test from Allah for those whom believe in a creator, one creator for everything and knowing that they're going to return to that creator, they must know that their lives are a test and that in every condition there's a door. Every squeezing there is a door and a choice that you can make. Every calamity that befalls insan and humanity and humans that there's a choice, either it comes… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. comes and affects you and crushes you and makes you to be negative and that you become and give up hope, lose the characteristics that are important for the entry into the Divine the Presence and that test in life breaks you. And Allah doesn't test the people more than what they can tolerate. But what we see of immensely difficult must be immense, immense hardships. And then testings can also visit a person and they don't break from it and their faith grows even stronger. But it requires certain tools to pass that test. Not every child enters into college, not every person goes and gets their PhD but there's a process that when we raise our children 
it's not a surprise that one day they will grow up and one day they will need to eat and have a, a job other than the place in my home and on my table. One day you'll have your own home and your own table that you have to pay for. So you train them all along that, remember I love you, study, have good manners, have good character, have faith, come pray with me. All of these conditionings were again from proactive people who knew one day this child has to eat and live and be somewhere. We condition them, train them to the best of our ability on the hopes that they one day can achieve what's necessary for them to also have a successful and safe and happy life. They're not like weeds, you just leave them and say, alhamdulillah whatever happens. Nothing in our life is like a, a weed where you leave it to grow and think it would just grow miraculously by its own. Our life is conditioning and discipline, conditioning and discipline. And not only for raising our loved ones and for ourselves, but Allah is now showing that spiritual guidance has been coming for years, for years, for years and in all regions, they're not, nobody's caught by surprise. You know, we're the most open people you can imagine. Anyone who wants to know what that she thinks, he's got 15 years of videos online, open book, everything that he speaks is online. Nothing comes by surprise and in every region there are shaykhs speaking and teaching, speaking and teaching because oh, creation for Allah are like His children. That prepare for a hard day when difficulty visits you like an unwanted guest at your door and then condition yourself for everything. So it means that these calamities don't just arrive. The shaykhs and ulama and teachers have been teaching people. But they have ears and they don't hear. They said, difficulty is coming, are you prepared? Difficulty is coming, are you prepared? Difficulty came and they said, what the heck, what is this? What happened to our loving Creator? No, Allah sent warnings, Allah has sent many warnings and Allah sends warnings to everywhere. But do they have ears to hear? Means that when we see these, it should bring the servant to even more yaqeen. Are you connecting your heart? Have you set your life and your affairs in order? Do you connect your heart? Do you do your spiritual practices? You do your religious disciplines? Because the religious discipline is important to tame your beast. You can't say, I'm spiritual. Means, means you're telling me, oh you're spiritual but your beast is wild, how could you ride a wild beast? So true spirituality, they have very strong power over their beast. You know, have you ever seen a professional rider at a, at a horse show? With his legs he rides his horse, not his hands. But have you ever seen a first time rider? Oh he's trying to scope this horse and the horse knows this guy doesn't know what he's doing and I'm going to run fast and I'm going to throw him off the bleachers because the creature knows you don't know what you're doing. Our life is a discipline that don't let your beast be wild, condition it, train it, bring all of the disciplines upon it so that God Almighty Allah give you a strength on your soul to ride it. And the warners have come and given their warning that be prepared, live a life of preparedness. That you set yourself aside, you set your affairs aside, you have prepared food, you have prepared money, you have prepared reserves. Then you prepared your family, you taught your family these realities and you prepared yourself and you began to meditate and contemplate. I need a source of information much more powerful than television. 
because I can't trust what I see with my eyes, can't trust what I'm hearing with my ears. And Allah gave us a communication device more powerful than any technology, trust your heart. If you clean it and you open it and you begin to condition your heart in your tafakkur and in your contemplation, make your connection with pious people whom are pious in their deeds and in their actions and they live the, the life that they're teaching and this way that they're teaching. You keep their company, you learn how to open up the channel of your heart, the communications of the heart. For a day may come when they cut your internet, they cut your food, they cut your water and they cut your ability. And only hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakeel, only from Allah can anyone survive. But the connection has to have been made so that they don't need that internet to communicate. That through their heart their communication can be open. Through the nazar and the gaze of their soul they can communicate with what Allah and how Allah wants them to communicate with Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and all of their souls in that realm of light waiting and ready in which you can reach to them, communicate with them and receive the fires and necessary guidance that's needed in days of difficulty. All of these Allah gave to us, we've not a nation that left uh, bewildered and empty. Allah has given to this most favoured nation of Sayyidina Muhammad immense authority, immense connections to these Divine the realities. But it requires for people to hear. Hear the warners that teach difficulty is on the horizon. But people look and say, no it's very far away, it's okay we still got time. Then it came to their horizon, then it came to someone else's horizon means this difficulty fills the earth, oppression will fill the earth. We can see it in the characteristics of people, the desires and dunya materialism of people. When you see the mass of people excessively materialistic, what do, you ma what do you imagine the collective whole is when a leader, what the, the leaders of these authorities, what do they think? When the collective people show those immense desires, what do you think then the, the boss of them is? When they spend 400 billion dollars for a bowl. What did they prepare? Nothing, they spent 400 billion on a bowl. This is then the condition of a people. And Allah gives to us a warning, I don't change a condition of a people until they change themselves. When those in authority who rule over you, they're more interested in a bowl. Then you can understand everybody's interested in a ball because they don't make and spend that kind of money for themselves. So people are more interested in playing with the ball than building their soul, building their connection, preparing for days of difficulty, not leading a balanced life. Fi dunya hasanat wa akhirah hasanat wa kin adab nar and to protect themselves from hellfire. So all that can be said in these days of difficulty is relating these haqqaiqs to what we see happening upon this earth. That when we see these calamities and see these difficulties and horrific difficulties that they don't even show and all that can be understood is that be prepared, live your life to be prepared, make your hisab and your account with Allah Make the connection with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad so that the Jaysh al-Mansur, the victorious armies of Allah they're all under the flag of Muhammadun Rasulullah
We haven't seen that yet. We, we hear many things about Allah but where are the ones whom have immense love for Muhammadun Rasulullah When they begin to enter into this realm, you see the Muhammadan flags come. Means that the understanding and realities of this love and this immense power is difficulty filling the earth. Prepare yourselves, prepare your homes, prepare your heart, live a life of preparedness, making the connection with the Divine, keeping the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and knowing that days of difficulty are coming. We pray that Allah give us a greater understanding, greater patience and love and those whom are in difficulty Allah dress them from oceans of sabr, immense sabr through the immense difficulties and sadness that this nation is facing. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us, bless our children and our communities. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.